Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Hey everyone. Now, before we begin, if you are new to Power BI and want to know more about Power BI and how to install Power BI desktop on your system, then I suggest you go through my previous video where I have explained all of those things in detail. Okay? So, since that's out of the way, let's dive right in. For today, we will have two basic agendas. First, we will try to understand a little bit about Power BI interface so that you don't get overwhelmed with Power BI when you start working on it. And secondly, we will see how we can import data into Power BI. Now, when you open the Power BI for the first time, you will see a window similar to this one. Okay. Now, first and foremost, one that you need to do is this is an introduction prompt that you will see here. You just need to close it out. Otherwise, you would not be able to interact with any other features of Power BI. So now what you see here is the default view of Power BI, which is also known as the report view. Okay. This view has a lot of tabs, buttons and features, but don't worry, we will cover them one by one so that you quickly get a grasp of the interface. Okay. So first, let's start with the home ribbon. So this is where you will find options for creating new pages, visual, as well as accessing recent, recent files and other useful tools, right? And there are many tools that you can use, including a few for formatting and few for data transformation and everything else, right? But we will get through them in detail in later videos. But for now, let's keep it simple. Now, in the middle section, this is what is known as a canvas. This is where we will be dragging our charts and tables and creating your custom visuals so that you can eventually share it with your stakeholders. Next, let's look at the visualization pane, which is at the right. This is where you can choose a wide range of charts and graphs to display in your data. Uh, you can also use the fields pane to drag and drop your data onto the canvas and customize the appearance of your visualization. Also on the right side, you have the filter pane, right? And this is where you can apply filters to your data to narrow down the results and focus on specific subsets of your data. Now, apart from the default report view, we also have the data view and the model view, which is accessible from this panel here on the left. We will go through each of these tabs in detail uh, later on, and we will understand what each of these tabs does in terms of data transformation or relationship building, right? Uh, but right now, let's just stick to this report view tab. One additional thing that I would like to mention is this entire canvas is on page number one, but Similar to Excel, if you want to add new pages, you can do so. You can click on this plus button here and it will automatically insert a new sheet similar to what we have in Excel, like this. So this gives us the facility of creating multiple tabs with multiple types of views to have an extensive dashboard or report kind of a layout. So that is it about the interface. Now let's just quickly jump into the second part of the agenda, which was importing data into Power BI because without importing a data set, you would not be able to utilize Power BI in any manner, right? So data is the first step. We using a data set from Kaggle today uh, about bank account frauds, uh, which contains nearly 1 million records and it's in a CSV format. Links will be in the description so that you can also download the data from Kaggle and follow along. The first thing that you need to do while importing a data set is to go to get data tab on the home ribbon and click on this button get data button this has wide variety of data source to choose from including files database and online services so if you are connecting to a file or a database you will be prompted to select the specific file or database you want to connect to and then follow the prompt to complete the connection now if you are connecting to an online service you may need to authenticate with your login credentials and then again follow the uh, prompt to complete the auth authentication. However, since today we are using CSV file, let's select the text slash CSV option here, right? And then choose your data set. Now, immediately Power BI will show you a prompt, 
which contains the preview of the data set that you have chosen. We can just quickly check if everything is okay with the data set that we have chosen. And then what we can do is we can just click on this load button. It will take some while to create the backend connections and models within Power BI and then it will load the data into the Power BI so that it is ready for you to use in your reports and dashboards. Now the important thing to understand here is when you load a data set into Power BI, it stores that data inside Power BI in a compressed format. So regardless of the fact that your earlier the data set was let's say 500 MB or 1 GB, it will store the data within Power BI but that data will be compressed so that is it. You have now successfully loaded the data set into Power BI and we are just beginning to explore Power BI and this is just the tip of the iceberg. We will get into data transformation and advanced DAX features in future videos. So remember to subscribe to the channel and press that notification icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.